This video is about an acknowledgement of your understanding of what a recruit or trainee is not supposed to do with the recruiter or with a drill sergeant. This covers any military branch. If you're processing with any of those branches, they fall under this, which is the DOD, Department of Defense. The title of this form is Recruit Slash Trainee Prohibited Activities Acknowledgement. While I was researching to make this video, I found some very disturbing scenarios and footage. I want to show it to you to drive how important this topic is. I got to warn you, these videos, this, this news footage that I'm about to show you, these are very disturbing. Take a look. He was invited into schools to teach students about the Marine Corps, and tonight, Winter Haven police say this recruiter right here used his position to start a sexual relationship with a teenage girl. Georgia Armory recruiter is under arrest on molestation charges. Police say 26 year old Brandon Ross met the juvenile victim during a recruiting event at Noonan High School. Investigators say Ross invited the teenager to his home where he gave her alcohol and engaged in sexual acts with her. The student told a school resource officer who contacted police. Ross is now facing several charges, including statutory rape, aggravated child molestation and giving alcohol alcohol to a minor. There is a document more important than your enlistment contract. This form is called DD2983. The full intent of me making this video is for you to be educated before you enlist in any military service. If you're in the enlistment process and you haven't seen this form yet or you haven't signed the acknowledgement form, it is because this form is generally signed by you, read and acknowledged by you after the enlistment process when you're waiting to ship out for training. And I think that's the problem. What I think we should do in the military, in the recruiting process, this should be one of the first forms that you should be signing when you start the enlistment process so you know specific things that you're not supposed to be doing with your recruiter or your recruiter are not supposed to be doing with you it extends all the way while you're in training what the drill sergeants and you are not supposed to be engaging one and that's all it really takes to break the trust of the community and break your trust so you gotta understand that recruiters and drill sergeants they're put on a what we call pasta position of special trust and authority they're the ambassadors they're the face of their own branch they're out there in the community and for the most part they're really doing great things in the community these are well decorated like soldiers battle. sailors oh marines God. airmen that have been pulled from their regular job in their services to conduct recruiting operations or do training as instructors or drill sergeants. Let's not discredit that, but there's one or two out there that's doing the wrong thing. They will feel and they will carry the full weight of the UCMJ, which is the Uniform Code of Military Justice, and will be liable for any civilian and criminal law that exists. You know how like uh, there's there's some rules about double jeopardy, like you can't be charged with the same crime, whatever. It doesn't exist. You can get charged in the military and at the same time charged in the civilian with a criminal charge. It's very unforgiving, rightfully so. Let me show you this form what I'm talking about. In a simple Google search, you'll, you'll be able to download this form and follow me along. Just read number seven real quick. It's in bold, all capitalized. I acknowledge and understand that a recruit or trainee will not. And let's move on to the next eight items. You'll notice when you read this, the first one kind of covers almost everything. The number two to the number eight items, these are gateway that leads you back to number one. First one says, develop or attempt to develop or conduct personal, intimate, or sexual relationship with a recruiter or a trainer. Training meaning drill sergeant, drill instructor, something to that effect. This includes, but not limited to, dating, hand-holding, kissing, embracing, caressing, or engaging in sexual activities. Prohibited personal, intimate, or sexual relationships include those relationships conducted in person or via cards, letters, emails, telephone calls, instant messaging, video, photographs, social networking, or any other means of communications. Basically, you can't have a personal relationship 
with your recruiter or your drill instructor. Absolutely not. Whether it's not intimate, whether it's intimate or sexual, nothing. The only relationship you're authorized to have with these soldiers, sailors, or Marines are of official in nature. What is official? Anything that has to do with your enlistment process or training you to become a soldier, marine, airman, or sailor. Anything outside that is unofficial in nature. Let's move on to the second one. Establish a common household with a recruiter slash trainer that is share the same living area in an apartment, house, or other dwelling. Basically, y'all can't live together. Number three, consume alcohol with a recruiter slash trainer on a personal basis. Now, when you consume alcohol, just in general, it always becomes a social basis. Now, let's look at possible examples of consuming alcohol with the recruiter. It's kind of weird they put it on there. Obviously, you're not going to drink with them, right? Probably that might happen is that if you're of age and you're in a bar somewhere, right? And just so happened your recruiter was in the same place as you and he's also engaging in or partaking in the consumption of alcohol that might be an example that you probably come come across so if that happens probably you know you can say hi hello but after that you got you got to go you all get in trouble in there what are we supposed to do make bets on how it all comes out if we get into trouble we can handle it. Knowing this form, you signing this form at least tells you, informs you that you can't drink alcohol with them. Say hi, hello, bye, because you know you're not allowed to drink alcohol with him or her. Moving on is you can't attend social gatherings such as clubs, bars, theaters, or similar establishments on a personal basis with a recruiter or a trainer. Number five, a recruit and or trainee will not allow entry of any recruiter slash trainer in your dwelling or privately owned vehicle except to conduct official business. Exceptions are permitted for official business when the safety and welfare of the recruiter is at risk. Just use your imagination in this, right? It could be hurricane or something or a tornado about to happen and you have to protect your recruiter because their safety is you know in jeopardy or in a bad neighborhood i don't know something like that then you could probably let him in your house in your car and do official business but for the most part you gotta do it in the office let's move on to the next one next one is gamble with a recruiter or trainer that's simple number seven is make sexual advances toward or seek or accept sexual advances or favors from a recruiter or trainer and finally lend money to or borrow from or otherwise become indebted to a recruiter so that sums it all up those are all the eight things now let's talk about some exceptions and i tell you right now consent is not an exception just because you said yes just because recruiter said yes as well doesn't mean it's an exception the only exceptions are for those relationships that pre-existed prior to the enlistment process it's not limited to just family members if you were dating someone prior to the enlistment Terry process Farley if you know somebody Downey like say a high school friend a high school sweetheart 14, any relationship prior to the enlistment process they are bound for some exceptions and the only person that can approve this is an 04 and higher 04 in the army is a major which is a field grade that officer is, they are the only ones that can grant exception Welcome to the new to cavalry. this rule i'm really hoping that you found value in this video and if you did hit the like button consider subscribing to the channel these are all for new guys and we're all new guys and as long as we adapt that mentality of being a new guy will always learn something new. If you're thinking about enlisting in the army and you wanna know the most up-to-date enlistment process, click right here. And if you're in defense, here are the 10 reasons that you should not enlist in the army, right here. I'll catch you in the next video. We will ride into battle, and this will be our horse.